I am the Aiden Drums, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Um, oh god. Um, so last episode we successfully got our first satellite out into space, which marked the beginning of our own personal little space race. Um, so this episode I hope to get some of these guys into orbit. Then bring them back down to Kerbin. Um, I don't think it's going to be a hard mission. It's, uh, it should just be go up, come back down. So, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, man, I just woke up so I'm pretty tired, but, uh, hopefully that won't play havoc with my, uh, oh, ability to fly these things. <sighs> Alrighty then, so... This ship, hopefully, this is the ship I'm thinking of. Yes, it is. Was good enough for getting a satellite up, except for the fact that these were not so stable. But with couple of these little supports that should hold it all nice and together what have you um okay so that's the engine I think we want to have everything under this and then we can just throw this away? Yep. Okay. Pod. Dun, 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 dun. I think this one only holds one. There's absolutely no need to send more than one person into space, or one curb into space, right now. Um. Okay, we're gonna need RCS for. We need RCS, SAS. gravity for this thing. Okay, right up there, which means that we gotta put... Oh shit, we gotta put uh, fuel tanks on it. Won't be going anywhere if we don't put any RCS fuel on. 40, 150... Whew. Oh man, I'm tired. Hold on. There we go, we got 300 mono fuel right there. And...
Okay, there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. let's put this back on it. Okay, uh, parachute. We need to have a parachute for re-entry or else our guys will not have enough time. Um... Choice, do we? It's fine, that thing has a 500 uh, thing drag. Um, and we have struts, good. We have RCS, SAS. Actually, I kind of want to change that order. I don't want to be landing with SAS on. Oops. Oh! Thank you. Okay. So we have parachute. We will decouple the main module from the rest of the ship. Okay. Now let's check out the crew. We don't need. We don't need a very bright person because, I mean, it's not like. We're, we're not having a bad time. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. Um, okay, so we're gonna take you off the list. You're not flying today. Wanna keep our smart people. Okay, and there we go, we got our, oh wait, no, I gotta fix this. Should go right about there. Okay, now it's all ready to go. So, yeah, my hope is that I can just do a little, you know, orbit around the air, uh, around the curve, and, uh, one of the curve, and, and um, I wonder if that guy's still doing, yep. Guys, still doing the elevator job. This is making sure it's safe. Uh, just a quick little spin around Kerbin and then uh, turn in for re entry. I really don't want to have a wet landing. I want to try and do some uh, ground. Also, while I'm here, I'll change that. Does disconnect, that disconnects. These kick in, this disconnects, these kick in, this disconnects. Yeah, I think when I disconnect the whole module, I'm going to be wanting to blow my parachute anyway, so. Saw it, let's go! I didn't save it again. Fuck. Oh well. The auto saves there, and I'm sure I can find it. Okay. Hello, Jebediah Kerman. Are you about to go, uh, are you excited to go where no Kerbin has gone before? 
granted you do have a spaceship, or not a spaceship, sorry, a uh, satellite up there. Right now. You will not be, oh, I've actually done a pretty good job at that. That's, I like that. It's probably one of my better orbits. Not too, um, off. Alright, enough about how I'm fucking in love with what, everything I do. Let's, uh, wow, that is really moving quick. Let's, um, okay. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's what happened last time I accidentally did that. Um. So much for it being an orbit. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't ter it doesn't matter terribly because, um. Here, let's try and make the best of a bad situation.
I just want land. If I can get land, then I will fucking just kind of abort. If I had a bigger engine, a more powerful engine, I would be able to totally just undo the mistakes that I keep doing with that fucking mainsail. Oh well, let Jebediah, uh, Kerwin, enjoy his little uh, personal. Ride around Kerman, Kerbin. I really want to check out those deserts. More importantly, I really want to check out this crater. All in due time, I guess. Maybe I'll just build some planes or something and fly over. Alright, so, yeah, I originally didn't want him to do a spacewalk, but, um, you know what, He's now in space. And the ship's not flowing away from him because he's in the system. Physics. Alright, let's uh... Actually, let's go have a, a look around. The thing seems to have stayed on during takeoff. I wish they would do stuff like that, where like, uh, paneling would fall off or something. There's a lot of hopes for this game that I can't wait to see what happens because, I mean, it's still technically in um, early development. <laughs> God damn, he's just totally fucking nuts. Let's see if I can do some more retro rocket. Let's just burn until we uh, run out of fuel. Because really we don't... Oh, looks like that's it. That's all she wrote. I think the ship's SAS is broken. It's fine. Never mind. Um, let's... Just 
speed up a little. There's uh, Antarctica, which I rambled on for about 10 minutes uh, last episode. That little piece of land jutting out from it. Um, I really hope we don't land in the dark side. Alright, now we're coming down for landing. Okay, so this flight has been going on for about 35 minutes, yeah about 35 minutes, um, and we're just about to come down for re-entry, oh. come on you can do it baby. Okay, now we're in the, uh, we're landing in some pretty rocky shit. Okay, let's wait for these effects to wear off. Come on. I really don't like that I did that, but come on, come on. Shit, I think I deployed too late. My my parachute's gonna rip. Come on, please. Please, you can make it. You can make it. I think shoot deploy uh uh deploys at like a thousand meters, two thousand meters, so Moment of truth. Why is it Oh, thank God. Still spazzing out like I'm in fast, uh, time warp. We did it. Oh, fuck. First try, too. Kind of. Okay, we we didn't do it. The mission was to get a manned orbit around uh, Carbon. That failed horribly. Um, but based on the situation, it's not all that bad because we did kind of do it. What am I saying? Of course we did it. We got the fucking... Sorry, as I was saying, we got we got the guy back on a curb. And, um, which is really all that matters. And I'll come recover him and whatnot. So, Space Center. Do, 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 do. Birds are chirping, and it's very dark outside. Tracking station. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh crap, I forgot to name it. Okay, let's uh, try this out. There we go. We have successfully completed our first manned mission to space. Even if it did fail kind of badly, we got him back. That's all that matters. And now leads the way for... Mun? Why is the Mun so close? That's much closer than it was before. Eleven thousand meters. Or eleven thousand kilometers. Forty six thousand kilometers. But Moho. No moons. Um. Okay, so before I lose my complete focus and whatnot, um, thanks for watching. We've successfully gotten our first, um, carbon into space, and this will lead the way for future, uh, flights. Maybe we'll check out Minimus, because I've actually never. I, I, honestly, I've never been outside of my own influence. I've never been able to get to the moon. Mun. Ooh. The mun looks different. It looks prettier. Um. Yeah, I've never been able to get to the mun. And. I've never been able to get out of into the into the star system, obviously. If I haven't been able to get to the Mun, then I haven't been able to get to you know their Venus or Eve or Duna. So yeah. Um before I go on and on and on and on, I think I'll just cut it there. So thanks for watching. This has been another episode of Kerbin Space Program. Yeah, Casa. Um, and yeah, join us next time. Uh, I don't know what I want to do next. Is the thing. Uh, I might want to go to the Mun because I think I'll need to do some history first. Because I want to try and do this as accurately as possible to history. So if we had a space station before we went to the Mun Moon. Um, then I'll build the station. If not, sod it. No station. Um. Damn struts. Always hate these things. Um. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've been the Aiden Drums, and uh, see you next time.